Hi there, Victor Litch Music Center doing a up close video on a 1969 Martin D45 Brazilian Rosewood guitar and a customer question, hey, is that headstock match the other ones? I think it's almost an optical illusion and looking at a bunch, no, this is not a replacement neck in our opinion and I'm wiping some of the dirt and dust off of there. I just took the strings and loosened them, took them off so we could really get in close and there's the headstock. Here's the neck. Be advised, I see flaws here. Customers pointed out, hey, is it a replacement neck or is that replaced binding? We don't know the history of it, but there's a good chance that that is replaced binding down the sides of the fingerboard and around and up. But we have no knowledge of the repairs. We bought it without any pedigrees and documentation. What can I say? Didn't come with an owner's manual. It's a 1969 guitar. So there's the instrument. We're going to videotape on the inside to show everybody what that is. Um, you know, he's asking, were these repairs cleated? We don't know. We're going to stick the um, phone in there and take pictures of it. And is there something to do with a crack around the B string? And try to get as close as we can to seeing whether... There's lots of checking. See the checking in the finish. And I'm looking to see where's the... I think that's more checking than it is any crack. But it is as is. And we stake no claims. And this has added electronics. If you want to know about the neck joint. And there's the electronics think because I can still see what I'm videotaping that is never been removed or replaced or anything like that and checking it all out there's that and there's that and we'll go all the way around see if we see any cleats or anything so there's there might have been a side crack there. Let me pull out and look over there. Yes, see that crack? That's from the outside, and it's full disclosure. And now we're seeing the inside back to there, because, again, I can see from the video, but I won't be able to see all the video once I stick it in there to see the bridge plate, whether it was rosewood or maple. But be advised, that is the repairs to the crack. I didn't do it. We didn't do it. We bought it that way. There's the uh, insides. And coming all the way around. Okay. So you got that, right? There's your serial number. I'm going to go into the top, and I won't be able to see much from here. That is the bridge plate that I can't see, but you can hear me. And then over here is cracks on the outside that have been repaired. And I'll be able to see the video once it's uploaded as well and see what kind of repairs were done to it, whether it's cleated or not cleated. But there's that. Hold it there. Continue to videotape this way. Got the pickup added in it. Okay, there's that. And then here. Yeah, pop it 
go over it. Uh, those pickbacks actually, the federal ones are 99 cents uh, this weekend. So. Oh, heavy versus medium, what's the revenue? Uh, it's about the thickness of it and uh, sort of how. There's the neck joint. I don't think it's ever had a neck reset and it doesn't need one. It plays great, but it can be the judge. Got a strap button added to it. Okay. What's that? Set it down here gently. I'll knock the bridge saddle out. And that is that crack. And that's the side that touches your knee when you are playing it right handed. And I showed you the inside and the outside of that. Same customer ask, is there any overspray? I don't see any, but you see the videos. You buy it or you don't buy it. We're not making any claims about it. That's got like lemon oil or something right there. That's rubbing through. And I'll uh, come out, show you the back of the guitar in full. And then I'm changing to the front. There you go. It's Victor Litz Music Center here on a 1969 Martin D45 Brazilian Rosewood. Victor Litz Music Center in Gaithersburg, buy, sell, trade. We'd love to trade somebody a big batch of vintage guitars for this thing or something real valuable. If you want to buy it, we'll do that. We're seeing, you know, forty to seventy-five thousand dollars. There was another one estimated value ninety to one twenty, and somebody Crosby Stills Nash and Young got four hundred thousand dollars for the same guitar in auction. So there it is. Come see us and thank you for looking.